Well, it all began 1969, Cardiff City Football Club. And there was this gang, maybe 20 Wolverhampton skinheads. They were probably 16, 18 years old. To me, they were giants, because I was only 12. They were 12 year old, they looked like an army. So I went home, got my hair cut, snicked my brother's working boots, snicked my father's braces. I became a little 12 year old skinhead, I just loved it. Lots of fashions come and go, like, you know. But with some people, it, you know, it just stays sort of thing. I've seen somebody say once, you ask two different skinheads what it is and you'll get three different answers. It's just a feeling inside, like, you know. And you just go with it. Me and my ex-missus at the time knocks on the door and one of the kids opens the door he sort of stared at me and he had this terrible look in his face and he ran back in the house shouting dad dad it's a skinhead so i come out loud and he said oh it's all right that's roddy he's fucking he's one of the good ones he said i used to be a skinhead when i was a kid but all the boy knew was fucking skinheads were evil fucking racists you know what i mean yeah. and it broke my fucking <coughs> heart the thought that you know something i grew up with and loved all of a sudden, though, he was tainted with his fucking thing like. Like I said, I come out of prison in 81. And Ducky, you formed the oppressed. He come over to Boston, wrong about the same time. I went to see the oppressed, their first gig in town. And I'm watching them play, and I turned to my mate and I said to him, I ought to be in this fucking band. And just, I knew it was exactly what I should do, do you know what I mean? A couple of months later, the singer and the drummer left. I took over singing, wrote a complete new set, got a new drummer in, and the rest is history. But we've never been in a band to make it big like, you know? Well, we never thought we ever could anyway. Noisy punk band, you know, you, you, it just don't happen for bands like that, you know. So with us, it's always just been having a laugh, like, you know what I mean? Just fucking about, like. And that's how it is now. We're still really just fucking about. Only well, you now people give us a few bob every now and then. Yeah. Which is nice. It is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Skinheads against racial prejudice. That's all it is. It's quite simple. Like it started in New York in about, um, I think, about 1986. They began it. Uh, same sort of thing. All they were getting in, on their media was these Nazi skinhead things. So a group of skinheads in New York decided they were going to do something about it to try and educate people. So they started skinheads against racial prejudice. Every gig we play, bungheads won't come near there. Because they know we hate them and they know our fans hate them, so they steer clear. Which means nearly every gig we play, there's never any trouble. It's like a party atmosphere, everyone has fun. You know? This was dedicated to the racist scum of the British National Party. This was called BNP, you're full of shit. If you ain't got the bottle to stand by your roots, maybe it's time to give up the boots. Don't fucking call yourself a skinhead if you're fucking afraid to confront these bastards like, you know what I mean? Because if it was meant to be anything, it was about fucking not letting people take the piss out of you. Yeah. And the way I look at it, the, the racists are taking the piss out of the culture. So don't, if you're going to sit there and say, oh, I'm not political, I don't want to get involved. Well, fuck off, do you know what I mean? <laughs> don't be a fucking skinhead, you know. Be a mod. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking, mods are cool. They're all fathers.
just the simple statement, I'm an anti-racist skinhead, just letting people know, you know what I mean? It's the only way you can, like, you know, obviously you can go out and slap the bone heads and fucking wreck their shows and stuff like that if you can. Yeah. I'm 59 now, so that's all a bit behind me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> skin and the little white skin head up, you know, together on the front cover. I was like, I was stand like, you know, yeah. so everybody knew we got a lot to do with these white women. Yeah. Fuck fascism before it fucks you.